Yeah. You gotta get on your job, tell them haters get on your job. Yeah. Motivation, get on your job, tell them haters get on your job. Hey. What it is, YouTube, man? Big T Ward. Back at y'all with another video, man. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, man. Comment. Follow your boy. Follow your boy, man. Make my memory filling up on my phone. On my space filling up, so I to delete some delete some stuff, man. Um so today, man. You see the scatty in the back. Gym vlog, man. Gym time. Gym time, man. So Let's get with it, man. Let's get with it. <laughs> get this gym, baby. Don't forget, man. Don't forget. Don't forget, man. Hit the website, bigtwarclothingcompany.com. Make sure you hit the site, man. Get you some merch. Uh, got a few things, man. I got to holler at my boy Belo low today. Uh, uh, a couple more things, man. We're going to go in. Today's a gym vlog, man. So, uh, we're going to go in, man. We're going to hit chest today. We're going to hit back today. And we're going to hit arms today. Uh, so, I might incorporate some traps in. You know, try to get the full range of motion of everything, man. Uh, well, not full range of motion. When I say full range of motion, I'm talking about just everything done. Uh, so, when I'm going in and get, I'm going in and get, uh, Mostly some arms done, man. So I'm gonna do a lot on the preacher curve machine. Um, which keep you honest, keep your wrist. You can kind of move your wrist around in there, man. I'll show y'all that. Also, do a little dumbbell action. And I'ma also do some uh, some barbell action when it comes to the, the arms. Uh, of course, I'm gonna start off on the cables. Of course, I'm gonna do the cable crossover, you know, stuff like that, man. So y'all gonna be it's gonna be another high volume type workout uh with the back it's gonna be more pull down um uh, the pull down in the row machine uh not maybe the row machine but the other uh, back machine what is uh kind of pull down and hit that that mid back a little bit so we're gonna jump into that man and you know just try to get y'all a little day to life man when i'm off work this is what i do bro this is like this it you know uh gym you know Give me a. Uh, I'm give y'all a thing like what I eat, man. When I'm when I'm on this uh the weight loss journey, when I'm trying to do this weight thing, um, I go in. I eat a lot of chicken, man. So it'd be a lot of chicken breast. Um, I eat a lot of salads, man. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna go to Subway, give me a salad, man. I always give me like a chicken bacon ranch salad, but I add spinach in it all also, man. So I do that too. Um, that 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 helps me out, man. So I take my the pre-workout is just mainly because of energy. I get up in the morning and hit the gym. Uh, the post-workout is just whey. It's just basically like a cleanser, man. It, you get that whey in, it, you know, it replaces a meal. And uh, it speeds your metabolism up, too. So that way you can eat again. You know what I'm saying? You can eat. You know, when they say eat clean, they're talking about eating, like, you no know, chicken breast, white meat. Uh, you know, your veggies, like, you know, my veggies be like spinach. I like the dry leaf spinach. I like to put that on a sandwich. I like to put that in my salad. And I, I'd rather eat that than eat, you know, like broccoli and all that kind of stuff. I ain't no broccoli person. Um, but, you know, protein-based stuff, man, peanut butter is high in protein. Uh, you know, so I go to Smoothie King, give me a, uh, uh, it's a peanut butter, like peanut blast or something like that, man. Uh, get that smoothie, man. It's It's a... It's a protein based type smoothie. I get that. But but today, man, we'll get into the meat and potatoes. We're gonna get the arms, man. You know, you know, it's the sun's out, guns out type deal. So I'm gonna get that in, man. Definitely gotta work on the arms. Uh go hit the tricep pretty heavy. Uh, so we're gonna do a lot of things, man. We're gonna do a lot of stuff. So y'all yeah, stay tuned for that. Of course I'm in this thing, man. Uh, uh and then and another thing, man, I found out last night. Um you know, one of the ladies we was in the club with, you know, in the in the in the Mopar club with, man, her car got stolen for the second time, which is these cats, man. I, the, I hate to say it, but me and my me and AJ was talking about this. I'm like, bro, 
Somebody gonna catch one of y'all little cats in their yard, in their car. They gonna blow you. I'm telling you, man. You have a hole in you. I'm telling you, man. You know, you want something, bro? Go out and work and get your own shit, bro. Stop stealing people's shit, man. You, y'all steal the shit to, to joyride. It's ridiculous. <laughs> y'all steal the shit to joyride in it, man, and then go park it somewhere. Like that's the dumbest shit I ever seen. I, I, I don't understand niggas, man. I, man. <laughs> I don't understand people, bro. But you know, you go get a hole in them, man. I'm telling you, you know what I mean? Go get a hole put in them, bro. Over a car. You know what I'm saying? You know, people work hard and stuff, man. People go to work. Work every day, man, to try to, you know, get these rides, man, and enjoy themselves. And you got to then come along still in five minutes, you know, just take it around the corner and burn some rubber just to say they drove a scat or a Hellcat. You know what I mean? You know? No, they ain't going to be on a T-shirt, man. Y'all need to chill out, bro. Y'all need to chill out, man. Only in Memphis, bro. Y'all y'all do this shit in Memphis. Y'all understand, man. Y'all y'all can't bring nothing to the city, bro, because you keep making the news. Nobody want to come here. You know what I'm saying? And you can't bring nothing here, man. You can't bring nobody here. Uh, you know, want nobody to do anything, man. People are going to be so closed off and they're going to shut shit down. But, you know, niggas don't care, man. People don't think about the big picture, bro. You know, they just want to ride around the Hellcat and say they stole one and drove it. You know what I mean? Just another one of my guys, man. Uh, 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 another partner of ours, man. Got his junk stole it at work. He at work. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, bro, it's, it's, this stuff's stupid, man. This is real stupid, bro. And people can't even enjoy their own stuff they work for, man. It's it's crazy. But man, this is time for another day, bro. I just had to get that off. But man, we're gonna go in, man. We're gonna get these arms done, his back done, his chest done, man. And we're gonna have a good day, man. So y'all stay tuned. It's your boy BT Ward, man. I turn the camera back on once I make it to the gym. Let's do it, man. How right, you too, man? Made it to the gym. So today, man, is gonna be a. Uh, Arm day, chest day, back day, man. So uh, that's what it's going to be today. And we're going to get in, man. It's going to be a lot of high volume stuff, man. A lot of light work, but it's going to be some good work. So uh, I'm going to try to get as many reps and stuff in as I can, man, as many sets as I can. Like I say, I may not record all the sets, but I do record a few sets that I get in. So y'all should know by now, man, how this goes. I record a few sets. But I stay in the gym, man, like two hours. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just getting it in. Uh, so I may not record everything, but I still do the work, man. I just don't record one set and jump to another. So uh, like I say, man, if I don't get a chance to do like all I want, I finish it up in another little session. So, uh, but I plan on hitting the barbells and the dumbbells when it comes to curls. Even for chest, I'm gonna do dumbbell press for chest. So y'all gonna see me do the close grip, you know, hold it together, do a chest finisher, and y'all gonna see me do the uh, just the regular uh, incline dumbbell press. Uh, I love to do those, man, because it it lets you be, you know, it makes you hold your balance, man. So uh, that's my plan, and I think, man, and I'm not mistaken, left my wristbands. God damn it! <laughs> I believe I left my wristbands, bro. I believe I did. I got to go home and get those. Uh, yeah, I got to go home and get my wristbands, man. I thought I had them, bro. I don't know what, how I forget that. How did I forget that, bro? <laughs> that's crazy, man. Uh, so I got to run and get that, man. But that's what's going to happen. Um, I plan on doing the barbells and the dumbbells with chest and with arm. So, uh Y'all gonna see me if I do if I do the barbell man if I lift just the bar the bar is just for the finisher man like the bar weigh like 20 40 pounds the bar man but if you do like a uh you know if you do like a pyramid style lift with the bar man the bar can weigh you out you know it keep you it keep that tightness man so y'all gonna see what I'm talking about man so sometimes I might get the straight bar and just curl it man and that bar start getting heavy after a few reps. After a few reps, man, that bar get heavy, get heavy, get heavy. So, if y'all see me doing light stuff, don't say, I mean, you doing something light, man. You know, like I say, people stunt and stuff for Facebook or TikTok, and they put on seven plates and try to do something. I ain't even hurt myself, bro, and I can. I've done it in the past. 
you know, put on three, four, five plates, you know, and do stuff. Uh, but it's just for show, man. Uh, you can't work out with that kind of weight. You can live it. It's like a pyramid. It's like a PR type shit, you know. Uh, but the only PR I'm going for, drop, get me down to 200. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's what I'm doing, man. So, uh, first I'm going to go home, get my wristbands. I'm going to come back, get started, man. So, uh, y'all stay tuned for that, man. So, I got to go get my wristbands. I need those. And uh, got my partners always laughing about my wrists and all that kind of shit. But I need them just, you know, to get myself together, man. So, let me go do that. I turn the camera back on, man. Once I'm in the gym and getting started, man. So it's your boy BT Ward. Y'all stay tuned. A few moments later. All right, guys. Here we go, man. What a test day. I told y'all do something different, man. Also, I had already warmed up and all that. So uh, I went on record, man. Even though this lady was in the background, still, uh, I don't know. I don't like to try to put people on camera and nothing like that, man. And all that good stuff, but here I did some uh, cable crossovers, man, but I did it uh, for the lower, lower chest area, so I did that, man, changed the weight, like I think I had it on 60, then I went up, you know, went up 10 pounds, like I changed the pee and changed the weight, and went up again, uh, well, it went down, per se, and so I did another, did another set, and then I went down again, did another set. So it's 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 one of them, man. I've been kind of using that anyway for years and stuff like that, man. Uh, but it's a good way, man, to hit that lower chest and all that. And uh, so, you know, did a few sets, man. Uh, had the chest pretty tight because I already did the, the flies. I did some push-ups. So the chest was kind of tight anyway. Um, but... You know, I, I like doing that, man. So, normally this would be a finisher instead of being something in the beginning. So, I decided to do something different. Do it in the beginning. You know what I mean? So, that's a, it's a good thing, man. It's a good uh, exercise to to do at the end of a chest workout. But I did it at the beginning of a chest workout. So, it's, it's, it was pretty, pretty good, man. Um... Uh, of course, the lighter, man. Like, you just get it and kind of come up at it, you know. Keep your elbows kind of bent. And uh, you can get that feeling in your chest, man. So I did a few sets of that. And then, uh, <gasps> excuse me. <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, so I did a few sets of that, man. Like I said, I changed the weight. And did it again. Uh, I think that was my last, my last set that's coming up. So I did it, uh, and I went on to the, uh, I think the back, I want to say. So I think I did a back workout with the cable, with the pull down. It just went from there, man. Uh, so like I say, man, you, you try to get this thing, try to get the recording done, man. But like I say, there's always people pretty much in the gym, man, there's, you know, in the same area that you're working out in. So, um, that's kind of, you know, kind of what I don't like, man. So, here, this is when I went over. I started doing arms. So, I did some, uh, I finally had the rope, did me some tricep, man. So, I did some tricep work, and I superset it with the, with the, uh, with the uh, curls. So, my, while I had a chance to do the rope, I went on and grabbed the rope and, and went, you know, got it done, man. Uh, Cause normally, man, the rope would be somewhere else, or people would be using the rope for something else. So I ended up having it. So I used a little wider grip, man, on the curl. So I used a wider little curl bar and uh, did it, man. I changed the weight like once or twice, but I kept it the same type of weight. You know, nothing heavy, nothing too light. Like I said, it was just a rep session, man. And uh, went over, grabbed the rope again, but I did the overhead right there. So I did the overhead uh, tricep. You know, that's good too, man. I kept it kind of light. And uh, 
Like I say, the lighter you go, man, the more reps you can do. And that's good. That's good in a way because um, that's when you know if you're cutting, if you're not trying to bulk up and you're doing lighter weight, man, it's, it's a lot easier, a lot better. Um, that's why I like doing it. Um, as y'all know, I did legs, uh, I think a day or so before. So uh, here I did a different grip, man. So I held it kind of close and did it. So this a way, man, to burn your arms. It it burns, bro. I promise you, doing that and tricep, it'll burn your arms, man. It'll burn them up. But I like that feeling. Love that burn feeling, man. That tight feeling, cause that's what I'm looking for. Uh, so did another set of pull downs right here uh, with the rope. Uh, you're supposed to come out like a Y shape, uh, but I, when I do the arms again, I put the camera in another position where y'all can see me. I might just do it on this side, uh, do the curls on the other side, and so I probably just switch up, put the rope on this end, you know, and put the the ball on the other end. That way y'all can see me when I do the actual tricep uh, pull downs. So I hit it wide again, did another set, man. Um, so like I said, man, this this is just super setting, man. Uh, this is just super setting type of type of work. I paused it and went over to the back. So this one I did another reverse uh, back pull down. So it was, it was a lat pull down. Uh, so I just sent it out in reverse way and, and uh, pulled the bar from to the front like that. That's good, man. You feel that stuff in your lat, your upper back and stuff, man. So I like that. I like that pull, that feeling. And so uh, I didn't pause it. I went straight, did it again, uh, and I did it behind the neck. So y'all see, man, my back is pretty wide, as you as you know. Back pretty wide already. So I'm just trying to get it wide, man, and get that little V taper like. So I'm, I'm working on that, man. Uh, so now I pulled it behind the head. You know what I mean? So this is more for the upper back, man, like the traps and, you know, stuff like that, man. You'll see the difference. Uh, I can tell how this hoodie fits. It's getting a lot loose on me. At first it was kind of, you know, fitty, you know, even though it was a, it was a, I forgot what size it it was a four or five X hoodie or something like that, man. Uh, so I like wearing bigger clothes to sweat, you know, and see how they feel once, you know, you feel yourself kind of losing a few inches or, you know, your body getting a little, you know, kind of where you want. So here I go, man. I did another set. I changed the weight and uh, did that, man. I actually got this technique from a, a guy that comes in the gym, man. He's a... Uh, Competition guy, and uh, sorry about that, man. I'm about to call him. Uh, he's a guy that competed, and uh, you know, he 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 taught me that, man. He was like, man, do pulls down this way, and uh, he said you'll feel a, a different, you know, you'll feel a difference. So, uh, I did it, tried it, and so I've been doing it, man. The last few exercises I've been doing it, and it's. It feels pretty good, man. You know, so um, like I said, I did another behind the neck uh, pull down, man. I think I did another set in the front. And uh, I don't know if I paused it or went. Yeah. <laughs> so I think I did another set in the front, though. And uh, so I went here, man. Uh, here I did some more chest. I did chest with the dumbbells. Um uh, so they were like 70, 75 pounds. So I did those. And then I turned around and did sit-ups. And uh, so I got a little chest press with the dumbbells. Uh, then I turned around and did sit-ups. And I turned around went right back and did another set of chest. And then I ended up doing some back with the dumbbell too, which y'all going to see in a few. Um uh, so I ended up doing that. Went, got right up on this. Man, can't <laughs> do my record, man, with this. And um, 
So I did that, man. Ended up doing sit-ups right here. Uh, I knocked out a few sit-ups, man. Like I say, this is all superset. This is superset and stuff, man. And taking this, this will wear you out a lot faster than just doing it one at a time. So, um, that's why, man, I think today is going to be, you know, a cardio day too. So I'm going to do cardio and I'm going to do some arms today and, uh, do some sit-ups, man. So going to kind of work on the little core a little bit, uh, do different machines for sit-ups, not sit-ups, but for abs just per se. So, uh, again, did another set, man. Um. Uh, like I say, this stuff wear you out, man. I might take a little breather, you know, here and there, but I go straight, go back to it. So, man, this is this is a this is a workout. Uh, Super setting is the best way to do anything, man. So, oh, wow. Okay, man. Sorry about that. I had to answer a call from a job, man. But uh, here we go. Got another set in, man, and did some more sit-ups. Uh, so, got another set of sit-ups in. And I uh, think, man, I'm going to, you know, do another version of abs and stuff like that instead of just on here. I just love this, you know, this particular little bench right here when you're doing sit-ups, man, uh, the old-fashioned way. Um, so, they got other ab machines, which I'm going to tap into and use man so i'm gonna try to get a vlog in on that when i'm doing those type of machines and uh you know they target different different parts of the apps um so pause it here so i kept it i got 70 pounds here and so i started doing back man so i kind of did some bent over rolls with the dumbbells uh now i'm gonna see i love doing this too uh, it's kind of like a you can do it with the bar and you put a little grip on, but I love this. And um, uh, you know, you can kind of pull it back, man. It's like a, it's like it's like I say, it's a roll, but it's a bent over roll with the dumbbell. I mean, you can do it with whatever weight you feel comfortable with, whether it's seventy pounds, whether it's you know, thirty pounds or whatever, man. I like the seventies because I like to feel it in the back. Like I say, I'm trying to get my back pretty wide. Uh, so, but now, man, I'm to start working on, you know, the abs and the midsection, man, a lot. So, I'm going to go in, man, I'm going to be on the treadmill uh, doing different versions of abs and all that, man. Just trying to have a balanced little thing. So, like I say, man, trying to get down to at least 200, man, because I'm like 270, 280 here. So, uh, you know, definitely trying to get back down to what I was, man. So here I started doing curls. But like I said, I had a guy here waiting. He wanted to get in and do the curls too. So, you know, it's it's, it's hard, man, to try to do it. So I did double arm curls here. Uh, I had like 30 pounds. I think I switched to the 40s. And, uh, but I ended up finishing out. I just didn't record. So I did this and like I said, the guy came back over. Another guy came over. Um, so I ended up uh, grabbing the 40s, 40s or 45s, one of them, and uh, ended up doing another set of curls. Uh, so y'all see me kind of face the camera and uh, did some curls, man. Uh, like I said, I get it in, man. I like to sweat. You see the hoodie. I like to sweat, man, sweat. So he come the guy again in the way, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I just stopped the video and uh, that was it, man. So I hope y'all enjoyed it. Two hours later. All right, YouTube, man. That was a workout. Uh, pretty much, I got in most of what I wanted to get in. As y'all see, man, you know, when, I, <laughs> when I set up to record to do my arms, other people kept, you know, walking into the shot, man. And I don't really like that. <clears throat> so... Uh, so I pretty much did. I still finished the arms. I just didn't record, man, because, you know, people just kept walking in and getting in the shot, man. Uh, so I started out with 30s. I went to the 40s, went to the 45s, and I ended up with the 50s. 
and I just did, you know, kind of single arm curls, and I just went up, then I went down. Uh, so I ended up doing that uh, with the back. I did about three sets. Did about three sets with the dumbbell. Uh, so I end up just doing it with the dumbbell instead of doing it with the machine. So it's, like I say, it's different ways you can do back, man. You can do it with dumbbells. You can do it with the hammer strength machine. You can do it with the cable. So y'all, as y'all saw, I did it with the cable too. <clears throat> so I did that. Uh, I did chest a different way, man. So I started off chest with the butterfly machine, which I didn't record, man. Then I went to the cables. So I did it kind of like the... Uh, lower chest which i came up like this so when you come up like this man you know you're squeezing that bottom chest up so uh i ended up doing it that way did a few sets of that and uh supersetted that with some push-ups too so um uh, then i went to the back and then i did a little arm man did a little arm workout um as y'all see on the cable i did most of my arm workout on the cable which i like the cable man to keep you like i say a lot of that shit keep you honest to keep you honest you know, keep your, your form right and all that, man. So you ain't really, you know, irking and jerking. So that's why I like the cable, man, to keep you, you know, in that good form. Um, then I can adjust the weight on the fly with the cable. I ain't got to be, you know, setting up plates. I can just, you know, simple pin, push pin, you know, and just do it like that, man, which is, you know, a lot quicker. And it's a lot, um, it's a lot safer. Um, you know, then doing it with the barbells. The barbells are good. Curl bars are perfect. So I use curl bars a lot too, man. Uh, especially when I'm doing back. So I like to superset the arms with the back. So, uh, but when I'm on the cable machine, it's perfect, man. I can just switch it out and just go up and down in the weight as I please. So, uh, like I keep saying, like I said before, man, it's not about the heavy weight. Like I say, uh, this is my form of cardio too when I superset. So that's my form of cardio, man. So I get it in, switch, switch back and forth, a little bit of rest, switch back and forth, and you can get a lot done, man. You get a lot accomplished like that. So I like to do that before the gym get <laughs> gets full, man. So that's why I like doing that. Like I say, if it had been a 24-hour gym, I would come in here like at night when I know ain't nobody in um, and get it in. So everybody now had the same idea. Try to get in early, and then we all be on the same page. So I just try to come in a little bit earlier and get it done and get out. Uh, so I think tomorrow, man, I'm gonna hit. Um, I'm gonna hit back. So it's gonna be probably just prim primarily a just a back day uh, tomorrow. <clears throat> so plus I gotta go to work. So tomorrow, man, gonna be a back day. Uh, get a lot of reps in a lot of close grip reps um nothing just heavy but a lot of reps man a lot of repping on the back so y'all know me i'm trying to get that go weird that, that gorilla gorilla back man silver back so trying to get that plus cut down in weight so uh i'm already seeing the difference man uh i can tell by the the, the, the hoodies um you know they're fitting they fit a lot looser a lot bigger on me and so I'm just keeping it going, man. I'm going to keep it going. Um, even when I'm home, man, sometimes if I don't get in here, I work out at home. I do some push-ups. I do some sit-ups. I do a little circuit uh, sit-up, you know, type of deal where I do sit-ups, push-ups, uh, and I put on a weighted vest. Or I get my dumbbells. Got the 40-pound dumbbells, 20-pound dumbbells, 15-pound dumbbells at home. And I do shoulders, you know, just stuff, man, to keep it going just in case I don't get a chance to come in the gym. So, uh, I'm always working. I always doing that, man. So, uh, hope y'all enjoyed the workout, man. That was it. Get home, of course. Get my post-workout. Give me something to eat, man. Chill with my wife. And, you know, talk to my kids. Man. I can't wait till they get out of school. I can chop it up with them. And uh, that's it. That's my day. That's me, man, all day. So, uh, scat talk coming uh, very soon, man. We're going to get some good weather. So, scat talk going to be in there man in there so y'all get ready for the, the scat videos man hadn't made one in a while so y'all get ready for the scat videos and uh and the sting videos man like i say it be snowing a lot of dirt accumulate man and it's 
It's black. Got to keep it clean, man. So uh, we're going to get that going. And y'all stay tuned, man. A lot of content coming, man. A lot of content coming, man. So if y'all follow your boy on Instagram, go to the Instagram, man. Hit the like button. Also, hit the follow button, man. And also, get you some merch on Instagram, man. Make sure you do that. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, if you hadn't watched the Instagram, man, go check out. I had my announcement about the pull-up and park. So if you're around the Memphis area, Arkansas area, anywhere, man, Mississippi area, you want to come to the pull-up and park, it's happening in April, man. All the details are going to be up soon. So y'all stay tuned. Keep following me on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, <clears throat> of course, YouTube, man. So you can get all the good content I'm about to put out, man. But it's your boy, Big T War, man. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Like, share, subscribe, man. Comment, hit the notification bell, and join the Big T War squad, man. It's your boy. I'm out.